I'm in a constant battle between showing gratitude and being grateful for what I have versus seeing what I want and wanting to go for it. But y'all, it's really just me and God. Hey y'all, y'all are probably crooked right now, but I have y'all set up on my dashboard in a little situation right now just so I can make this intro. Welcome, welcome back to another video. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another vlog. I think what I'm going to title this one is like Living Alone series because I think that's doing really popular on YouTube right now. And I definitely live alone and this is the type of stuff that I do on a daily basis once I get off my nine to five. Y'all are definitely crooked. Like the camera is telling me that y'all are crooked right now. Girl, bear with me, baby, okay? So my apartment right now does not feel like fall at all. It feels like nothing, okay? So right now I'm outside of TJ Maxx. It's a home goods next to me too. Not sure if I wanna go there, but we're gonna see what I can find. I really want a nice planters pot and like a fruit bowl possibly some large candles just to fill up the spaces on the counters and under my television and then i also want some cute pillows for my bedroom i might get a new bedroom set who knows girl let's just see what we can find okay and then We'll figure that all out when we get back in the house. But yes, we are going to get into some fall decoration because I don't like the in-your-face fall stuff, like the pumpkins and the ghosts. Uh, that's not my cup of tea. But I do like the colors, like the browns, the terracottas, stuff like that. So we're going to see what they got. I look real cute. Let's get into it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go into this little girl and see what they got. Okay. There is absolutely nothing in this store. I just went to TJ and now I'm at Home Goods and it ain't Nathaniel in here, so this is a dub. <laughs> this is a dub. I think I'm about to go to Trader Joe's and get some groceries. I don't care what they say about us now I don't wanna have no conversation They just wanna fuck it all up now The noodles and the broth was like really really good, but the chicken was kind of tough and I didn't really appreciate that But the gyozas or however you say I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly I had pork gyozas. They were 10 out of 10 and I had a spicy chicken ramen and yeah, I feel like they overcooked my chicken, but It was a cute little ambiance or whatever and it was really nice and I just like wanted to get out of the house I'm about to open some packages. Okay, don't think I'm about to shake nobody but <laughs> Um, I just feel as though I had to get myself out of the house because I realized the only times that I go on dates, you know, is when I'm with my man or when I'm with a friend. Other than that, I could stay in the house for days by myself and not talking to nobody and that's bad. Like, I don't want to continue to do that too much because... You need some type of interaction just here. Like, that's how I be feeling. If you live alone 
and you only go out when you go with people that can like low-key hinder you so i would suggest doing something like i did take yourself on a cute little cute little lunch date dinner date take yourself shopping whatever the case may be just to get out the house get some fresh air and treat yourself so yeah i'm about to open a little i'm about to open up some packages because i went to my amazon hub and i realized that i got something from urban decay hello first off i don't know what this is i didn't purchase this so that means someone on a pr list sent it to me and i'm just like how did y'all get my address because i don't remember putting myself on any urban decay like branding sites or whatnot but this is cute they sent me some eyeliner this is their this was voted urban decay was voted best eyeliner on whom so <laughs> baby i ain't gonna knock it i'm excited thank you so much for sending this to me honey i ain't never gonna turn up and down but i took a cute picture or whatever because i'm i be geeked when i get free stuff baby but i'm just a little skeptical because how did you get my address oh no cute let's go ahead and open these up i wonder if it's a liquid ink or an eye pencil let's see there's so many there's so many one two three four five six seven my favorite number oh my god thank you guys so much i don't even know who i'm thinking but <laughs> like this is tea look at this i love being a freaking youtuber like no cap y'all i was in my feelings yesterday i'm about to do a quick little rant or whatever because i just feel like sometimes to be honest like working a nine to five and trying to do content can be overwhelming when you want the security the consistency in terms of pay and just knowing that like it comes with benefits from a nine to five like actual work job and then trying to battle and then try to like balance that with how much goes into creating content like it's a lot and sometimes it can really weigh on you and sometimes i be feeling overworked in a sense where it's just like uh i can easily experience burnout and i'm just like i don't know should i look for a job that pays more so i don't have to like do content but i'm like girl that's what you're passionate for it's so me like that's what you're passionate about so like why would you ever do that like i ain't i'm never quitting creating content because it literally makes me happy like editing makes me happy putting songs together to my clips it just gives me a boost and then like it's just little things like this that like make you pick your head back up and be like people see you people are always watching and you're doing the right thing and you're good at what you do so like yeah I just had to get that off my chest, baby, because this, that was weighing on me a lot. And this just really brightened my day. So, um, they gave me a black and a brown. The colors are Zero and Whiskey. Oh, that's tough. This is perfect for fall. Ooh, now I'm going to sit and play in makeup because that whiskey look, that whiskey color could, like, really do something. That could really do something. And I was just saying the other day, when I went out, I was like, oh, this makeup will come together if I had a black eyeliner, like an um, a eye pencil. And now I have one. They sent me the colors, Electric Empire Whiskey Yayo. Is that how you say that? Per Perversion? And Rockstar. Can I read? <laughs> okay. Now I have a black. I want to open this up. It's it's waterproof. It's long lasting. What? How did they? Period. How did they get my freaking stuff? This is tea. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Let's try. Let's do a little one two one two real quick. Cause this is what I wanted. I just wanted a little black. Oh, this is hecka pigmented this is hecka pigmented oh oh tea this came at the perfect time because i was going to go buy one i was like how you don't have that that's low-key and essential and i was going to buy one 
I did this eye better. This is cute. This is cute. I actually was like, oh, my waterline on this eye. This is T. But yeah, thank you to whoever because. Yes, go ahead and send me some extra stuff with y'all. What else y'all got? Like, <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I think that wraps up today's portion of the vlog. So I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow because I don't want to keep rambling. See you later. today clearly but i'm excited because today is my last day before i go out on pto um it's also going to be a long weekend for everyone because we have indigenous people's day i hope y'all are off for indigenous people's day next monday because y'all should be but yeah getting ready for the day i just did my hair and i had to like stop the process because i have to put y'all onto some products that are really really good i don't know if y'all can see but my curls look super super juicy right now like let's really get into it they look super full all because of these two products that i've been using i'm trying to keep my hair as moisturized as possible at all times so yeah i have been using the curls blueberry bliss reparative hair mask it looks like this i'm almost out y'all I'm almost out, baby. Like, when I tell you it ain't Nathan you left in this container and I just received this, um, I've been using that in combination with the Curl Control Jelly. They sent me two. They always send me two of each product. And I'm going to tell y'all where I got these from, too. I gave the other repair mask to my man. And, girl, I'm regretting it because I love that product. But um, this is like a soft jelly. It reminds me of the Miss Jessie's. But, yeah, just about to put this little mini claw clip in my head now that... I don't want no more hair. <laughs> um, let's see if that looks cute, girl. You always gotta make sure. Oh. But yeah, I got all these products through Skeepers. So I didn't pay for any of these products, okay? All I have to do is create content for them. And I love doing this because I get to try new things without paying a price of it. Duh, like it's free products. So Skeepers is a program that you can enter if you're a micro influencer UGC content creator content creator in general if you're big or small like all you gotta do is sign up upload all of your social media platforms and then you pick from a large list of items ranging from household items skincare hair care perfumes fragrances girl the list goes on and on and you just create content for them and they send you more stuff once you're done. Like, it's so cool. I talk a lot about opportunities, programs, benefits that um, influencers can get in my Etsy e-course. It's always linked in my description box. If you want to click on my link tree link, it's, it just says Etsy. And if you click on it, you can shop and you can purchase the e the e-course. Skippers isn't in my e-course because I just found out about it. I need to do another one, honestly, but I feel like I haven't been promoting it enough, so I wanna promote this one prior to making another one because I have like so much knowledge that I wanna share with you guys. So yeah, if you want free stuff, baby, sign up with Skeeper. And if you wanna learn other tips and tricks, I talk about how to increase your sources of income, how to make, you know, money besides just doing sponsorships and youtube and things like that i talk about a lot in that e-course and it's really really informative and i'm actually super proud of it but yeah so go ahead and check it out if you're interested in that type of stuff and yeah also don't mind that i'm missing a nail on this thumb and this nail is broken not to flick flick y'all off but this nail chipped um i've had my nails on for almost three weeks now. Usually I take them off after the two two week mark. So girl, they holding on. I'm about to skip their teeth. I'm about to take them off so I can put y'all on to these new nails that I just received in the mail today. I just got delivery. Um, I want to see how they work. They're press ones, but they're already done for you. 
apparently they're like super durable they last long they last two to three weeks just like um the gel x tips and all you gotta do is add them with and all you have to do is put them on with regular glue so we're gonna see girl we're gonna see i wanted the black tips just because it's fall but they was out of stock they was a little pricey. They like 30 something dollars, but you get so many um nails in the pack. So basically like you'll never have to like repurchase it because they send you so many. Oh so, yeah, we're gonna see girl. But first things first, I'm about to go make myself some food. I'm actually filming two videos today. So I'm about to go jump into another video and go film out what I eat in a day. I'm gonna make me some bracky, some breakfast and um, yeah, so if you see me wearing this shirt in the next video after this, don't do too much because it's clearly filmed on the same day. But yeah, I'm gonna check in with y'all when we are about to do our nails. Friends, I am back and my nails are done and I'm just gonna let them speak for themselves, okay? I'm just gonna let them speak for themselves because I know you see the quality. I know you see, I know you see the vibes. Perfection. That was Vaseline because I just <laughs> I just put some on my lips. Perfection. <laughs> Took me 15 minutes to put on if that. Okay, no, I'm capping because I do a lot of filing. So I'm gonna say 30 minutes at most. Fire, okay? This entire set comes with a hundred. Wait, that's confusing. It says a hundred and fifty over three hundred pieces. I really don't know what that means. And they have fifteen different sizes. Um, fire. Okay, it's a big stack of them. You're never gonna run out unless you do your nails like. 24 7 like i'll probably i'm gonna run out in 2024 and that's amazing you know like do you see how many come in here do you see how many come in here do you see that thick stack baby go to amazon right now the link is gonna be in the description box and a comment section okay because y'all don't like to read and i know that and i appreciate y'all for clicking on the link so i'm gonna make sure it's accessible all i did was file above my nails Push back my cuticles with this little thing thing right here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And then I applied a little bit of dehydrator. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All this stuff is probably on my Amazon storefront already. Um, Applied the nails with my favorite glue. Y'all always ask me what glue do I use? And I use Kiss Pink Gel Nail Glue. It's right here. I'm noticing that. Pink has the best glues because I use pink I kiss envy glue for my lashes too. They got some bomb glue. Once you put the nails on, apply top coat. This is the top coat that I use. It came in a set with some other stuff. And then I added some uh, oil that I use for my cuticles. This is definitely like face oil. But baby, I don't give a damn. It's scented so I never put it on my face. But y'all... These nails, you can't tell me otherwise, and I love how the the nude is black girl friendly. The nude is black girl friendly. Like, it's really, they really look like they my nails. Like, what? And you like, not to flick you off, but do you see how well applied it is to my cuticle? Bye. At this point, if you don't tune into my nail tutorials, and you're not shopping from my Amazon storefront for my nails, my nail stuff, you don't like yourself. Like, I don't know what to tell you unless you don't. Maybe you like having nubs and you don't like doing your nails. That's cool, too. But if you like doing your nails or you like having your nails done, what are you waiting for? Get on it. Come on. I'm, I'm giving you the tea. I'm giving you the tips. I'm letting you know what's good. All you got to do is go purchase, okay? I done did my nails. It's late at night now. I'm about to go finish watching. What was I watching? Love is blind, girl, because these people on his acting like they ain't never gonna find love in life. And yeah, I'll check in with y'all tomorrow. 
Hey you guys, we are in a new space right now. I got y'all in my bedroom because I just wanted to like sit down and talk to y'all about something because let's be real, I don't really open up on this channel a lot. Like my channel is all about vibes, cute stuff, how to take care of yourself and whatnot, but what's the point of having a platform if you don't use it to your highest potential? And I'll be having a lot to say, but I don't know. And I, if y'all hear sirens in the background, I'm sorry. I promise you I live in a good neighborhood, but... <laughs> If you hit a siren, just disregard. But, like, what was I saying? What's the point of having a platform if you don't use it to your highest potential? And I have so much to say. I just don't speak on a lot of things all the time. And I need to change that because y'all are either here because I inspire you or you can relate to me. So, if I got something to talk about and I feel like y'all can relate to it, then why not sit back and talk about it? So, basically, this Living Alone Diaries kind of series that's going viral on YouTube right now just made me, like, sit back and reflect on a lot of things because for so long, I wanted to move out and be on my own. But now that I'm out here, girl, life be life, man. And I don't think no one talks about the process and then my opinion personally from my experience I wasn't I wasn't prepared like and I'm really not trying to get emotional right now one thing I say I would never do is cry on YouTube like I refuse but when you reflect on your life you tend to get emotional about things and I don't know if y'all are new here or y'all some of G's of mine but if you know you know I lost my grandmother a couple years back and for all my new girls that was my ace boom coon like that was my girl that was my best friend that's that is my favorite person and i feel like i lost her in a pivotal time in my life because i hit adulthood immediately after that like the last thing that she was able to witness me accomplish was getting my car and then i lost her and then i got an apartment and i got a big i got a big girl job and i moved out and my youtube has been like blowing up and I became completely independent to the point where I don't I don't depend on nobody for nothing. And when you're doing that as a young 20 year old, like living alone in your 20s, mid 20s, even in your 30s, it's difficult when you don't got nobody like laying shit out for you saying like, this is what you need to do. This is how you need to do it. These are the resources that you need to use to get the shit done. Like, I don't have that. It's really just me and God. bitch <laughs> this lighting is cute i'm about to sit here more often i'm really just using my ceiling fan light and the window but y'all it's really just me and god and that's perfectly fine like when i talk about my grandmother i never want to take away the effort that my parents put into me but like Ew, I hear my voice cracking. This is not cute. <laughs> I'm so unserious, but like, she was the person that was my rock. Like, she was always in my corner, always telling me how to do something, even if I didn't ask. Like, she just had so much wisdom to always give, and she always was willing to help. Like, like all she did to everyone was lend a helping hand. And it's like, I be missing her so much because, bitch, I don't know what to do in life all the time. <laughs> And I know so many of y'all probably feel the exact same way. But it's like, I don't really feel alone when I think about it. I just, I just like accept it for what it is. And then whenever I, I am extremely hard on myself. So whenever I feel like I'm not doing enough, I could be doing things better. I'm just wanting more. Like, I, it's like I always show gratitude, but I, I, I'm in a constant battle between showing gratitude and being grateful for what I have versus seeing what I want and wanting to go for it. And like... I be feeling bad for wanting more, but I think that's what I'm supposed to do. So, I don't know. It's a constant battle. But when I'm in those, like, depressive, those, like, depressing moments when I feel like I'm not doing enough, I just look back at what used to be my life. And that's the only motivation I need to, like, keep going, keep striving. And it shows me that I'm doing exactly what I need to do. I'm in my own lane. I'm running my own race. And I just got to keep my head forward and the only time i look back is to reflect on how far i've come simple so if you're feeling the same way don't compare yourself to nobody else don't stress about what you don't have because you don't know how much god has in store for you moving forward so just try to remember that 
And I don't know. I'm gonna start using my platform as like not a venting platform. I do be venting y'all. I ain't gonna cuss you, but like, cause I don't. Another thing about me, I tend to suffer in silence. If I'm going through something, I keep it to myself. I journal. I talk to God about it. I don't really put my problems on other people. Because I don't know if they be having capacity for me. Sometimes people put their problems on me. And it's like, baby, you call me at a day when I don't got time for this. <laughs> and that's just the simple fact. So, I'm going to start bringing my problems here. Because y'all probably can relate to it. And my, pro my platform needs to have more substance. That's how I feel. The how-tos, the nail tutorials, the hair tutorials, all that, the vlogs, the vibes, travel experience, food. That's great and all, but I have so much more to offer, so I'm just going to take advantage of my platform. And I'm going to get y'all the real because real should be happening, and why not use this as an environment to talk about things. But yeah, I really hope y'all enjoy this Living Alone Diaries video, vlog, whatever I'm calling it. If you want to see more, definitely tap in, comment down below on what you want me to talk about, like what topics. Ask me questions, girl. I feel like this is making me want to do a like sip and spill where I just like have wine, do my makeup, and talk about real things because it's a it's a lot. It be a lot going on, okay, up in here. So why not get it out so y'all can relate? But anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. Give me a like. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't, and stay tuned to the next one because I'ma stay consistent. Okay, love y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um.